For this topic, we are going to talk about the area. So the property that governs the previous topic, the circumference, is the same when you apply it to area. I mean, if you look at a circle and you cut out a pizza slice, the area of the smaller size will be proportional to the angle that encloses this pizza slice. It has to be so. So we can easily extend the formula. The area of the minor sector, the shaded area, will be equals to your angle x, so x over 360 degrees, multiplied by the area of the entire circle, which is pi r squared. So let's see how we can use this. Practice now 5. Now you look at this figure, you, need, you are asked to find two things. One is show that the angle of ADC, ADC, this angle, is about 96.8 degrees. The second part is to find the area of the shaded region. So let us look at the first part first. So if you look at this, you know that visually this is slightly bigger than 90 degrees. But how do you start? So what we can do is to try to draw a line that is parallel to BC. So say this line is parallel to BC. And once we draw this, we know that PDC or ADC is this small angle here plus 90 degrees because this is exactly 90 degrees, a quadrant. So I am going to name this here, this point here as T to help us present our answer. So this point is T. I know one more important thing which is the length of AT is simply 19 minus 15. So I know this side, I know this side, the longer side, I know the angle here I can make use of sine rule. So sine rule, sine of a d t a d t over a t which is four four meters will be equals to a p d which in this case we know it to be nineteen plus fifteen because a p is the radius of this green circle and p d is the radius of the blue one so it's sine of ninety degrees because this angle here is 90, divided by 19 plus 15, the opposite side. So we can find out the angle of ADT, 6.756 degrees, so 3 decimal place. We have almost solved the first part, because the angle ADC is simply 90 degrees, plus the angle that you found here, 90 plus the small angle, and that is equals to 96.8 degrees, one decimal place. All right, let's move on to part two. Find the area of the shaded region. So for this question, you need to find three areas. One is the trapezium, the area of trapezium, A, D, C, B, everything here. And once you have this area, you can minus away the area made by this green, this green, green sector of a circle, and then minus away the blue one, the blue sector. So let's do it piece by piece. Let's try to find out the area of the big trapezium. As you remember, the area of the trapezium will be half times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 15 and 19, multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is TD or BC is the same. So let's, let us try to find out what is TD. So luckily, we already know what is AT. AT is 4, and we know what is APD. Hypotenuse, so we can make use of Pythagoras theorem, and we can formulate our equation T D squared plus 
4 square, you know, these two sides, is equals to the square of the hypotenuse, which is 34 square. So solving for TD using the calculator will give us 33.76 meters it's for significant figures if you want to be pedantic. So with TD, we can find the area of the trapezium. Now let us look at the two circles, the two sectors. We have this, this angle here. So we can find the area of the blue sector, but do we have this angle here? We don't. So let's see how we can find out what is this angle. Angle BAP. So luckily we know almost everything there is to know about this triangle ADT. And we know two of the angles. So to find out the last angle, this one of the triangle, is not too hard. We know that the sum of these three angles will give us 180 degrees. So angle of TAD plus 90 degrees plus 6.756 degrees will give us 180 degrees. So angle TAD is simply 83.24 degrees. So area of shaded part is equals to the area of the trapezium ADCB minus sector APB minus sector PDC. So the area of trapezium ADCB, if we were to plug in the numbers, it will be half times the sum of the parallel sides multiplied by perpendicular height. And the sector of the green circle, the area of this sector rather, is simply the ratio of the angle over 360 multiplied by the area of that circle. So as you can see, in this figure, we have found out this angle. So just take the ratio of this angle over the angle of the entire circle, 360 multiplied by the area of this green circle. So the radius is 19 and the area is simply pi r square. We do the same for the blue sector. So minus, now the angle for the blue sector is 96.8. So, but since we are calculating, let's use more decimal places. So 96.76 degree divided by 360 pi r square. And if we were to put everything together, we will have 573.92 for the first part, minus 262.23 the second part, minus 190 for the last bit. And the final answer will be 122 cm squared. That's not too difficult, is it?